It's all about designs and codes and hacking and making. The Girls Go Digital camp, supported by Dixie State University, is one of a kind, teaching girls how to break into non-traditional roles, especially when it comes to math and science. I like math and science. The sky is the limit of what you girls can do when you get older, okay? So these are other examples of other women kind of breaking the glass barrier of things that have been done in the past. First camp was in 2013. We had six girls, and this summer we'll have five camps, seven locations, and probably almost 600 girls. The idea is to make a fun way to learn using math and science while creating new things. The easiest way to ma make math and science fun is by having hands-on projects. So we sew with conductive thread, and then each one of these LEDs has a positive and a negative on there, positive, negative, and then on the and then this is the battery pack, or the holder, it has an on and off switch. They're learning everything from how to solder basic electrical circuits, parts of a computer, web development design, um, how to program an app, um, how to program robots, so all kinds of different things. So we like to give them lots of touches throughout the week. The four-day program includes girls ranging from 7 to 18 who are learning more about technology than their mothers ever dreamed of. I think just the ability to explore some of these options like coding and, and little engineering things, like we didn't have that when I was a kid. I want to be an astrophysicist. An astrophysicist is someone who studies space. I want to be a graphic designer. Girls know they too can learn skills in technology just like boys. You get to learn about coding on the computers. I think making pixel art is going to be my favorite. Well, I work with computers all day. I, I mean, that's the future. So I figured it's good to, for her to learn early. So it's not about turning the 96 girls that are here this week into computer programmers, but making that a possible avenue for them. These girls don't just get oh, to build really things, cool. they also yeah. get to break them apart, mm -hmm. like these old computers, to learn what's inside. So it, we started with a full computer that we had to like rip off the front part of it and then we started to like unscrew stuff and, and have to like recut wires. Using different colored markers, pathways are created for ozobots to follow. These micro-sized robots make different moves based upon the orders the colors are placed. And it's like really fun because they just like move along by the colors. And competitions are also part of the fun. And some paths are dead ends and some can cut through. So have fun and start. While there are a lot of camps that focus on girls and technology across the country, Girls Go Digital begins at a much earlier age. That they need to, as young as seven and eight, have their hands in all kinds of different things so that by the time they get to those ages, they feel comfortable and they don't shy away from them. So I think we are one of the only groups that goes as young as we are. At the end of the first day, these girls were all excited about what they had learned and are ready to come back for more. Oh, it definitely wasn't like school. It was way more fun. Yeah, I made a horse. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.